Even though this movie is a horror flick of sorts, I decided to just stick to a very normal- Goosebumps! Ah! Ooh, that was really stupid, I apologize for that. Anyway, what is up everybody, Random Random Man here, bringing you my review for Goosebumps, which stars Jack Black, Dylan Minnette, Odea Rush, Amy Ryan, Ryan Lee, and Jillian Bell, and it's directed by Rob Levin. Now the plot follows Zach, played by Dylan Minnette, who, with his mother, played by Amy Ryan, move into a small town where they just so happen to live next door to Hannah, played by Odea Rush, who Zach has a bit of a crush on. Too bad that Hannah has an overprotective father, played by Jack Black, who just so happens to be Goosebumps author R.L. Stein. And after Zach and his friend Champ, played by Ryan Lee, sneak into Stein's house, Zach accidentally opens a Goosebumps manuscript and lets all of Stein's creations wreak havoc on the small town. So it is up to our heroes to stop these monsters once and for all. Going into this movie, I had mixed feelings about it. First off, I was born in the late 1990s, so of course I was into the Goosebumps books and TV show. So on that level, this movie has a really big nostalgic level for me. On the other hand though, it seemed kind of weird in the direction they were taking with Jack Black and a bunch of other people involved in this project. And don't get me wrong, I do love Jack Black, but it seemed a bit off to me. But how was it? Let's run down the whole thing. Like I said before, I really enjoy Jack Black. My favorite movie of his is one of my all-time favorite films, School of Rock. And in this movie, going back to a more comedic sense, he's very good here. I really dug him as a fictionalized version of the Goosebumps author, R.L. Stein. He sold me on his creepy factor and his all-around just comedic nature. Dylan Minnette is outstanding in this movie. I saw him last year in the film adaptation of Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. In fact, coincidentally, I took my mom to see that movie with me last year in theaters, and this year, I took her to see Goosebumps with me as an early birthday present, and he was in both movies. He has a lead character aesthetic about him that makes him very likable, I really liked following him throughout the movie, and he definitely has a leading man and heartthrob status about him that will make him appeal to many young fans. Odeo Rush plays Hannah, the next door neighbor, and I also saw her last year in a movie, this time the film adaptation of The Giver, and she was memorable not only for being one of the best parts about that movie, but I also find her very attractive. She's pretty gorgeous if I say so myself, but on an acting level, she's also just simply excellent. I think her character was very interesting as well, just to follow, as she's the daughter of Jack Black's R.L. Stein. We also have Ryan Lee as the very weird, very odd friend of Zach, uh, Champ. Yeah, that's his name. And a pretty odd name too, but I thought he was a bit annoying at first, especially considering that he's supposed to be this very, eh, off friend, but he warmed up to me as the movie went on. And it also helps out that I did see him a few years ago in Super 8. The other two actresses of worthy mention are Amy Ryan and Jillian Bell. Amy Ryan plays Dylan Minnette's character's mom, and I really bought her in the chemistry she had with Minnette, as I feel that they were mother and son. I also really like Jillian Bell. Now, last year I saw her in 22 Jump Street, and I felt she was one of the few issues I had with that film, as I found her to be annoying, unlike Ryan Lee's character in this film. But I found her to be quite charming in this movie. She has this very bubbly, bumbling kind of feel as she plays uh, Zach's aunt, and naturally that's his mom's sister. And she really had some stellar moments that were brought in in between towards the beginning and towards the end. And I like some banter she does have with Jack Black as well. Overall, I feel this cast is really well portrayed on screen. On to the plot. Now, this movie isn't a strict adaptation of any specific Goosebumps novel, but it's more of a fitting mashup slash tribute to the series as a whole. When the movie begins, it takes its time developing its characters, and I find that to be a huge plus for the movie, as it doesn't want to get into the whole monster storyline right away. Once the Goosebumps manuscripts are finally opened and the monsters are let loose around the small town, that's where the real fun of this movie begins. We have monsters like the Abominable Snowman and the Werewolf that are mainly CGI, but we also have the central villain of the movie, Slappy, who is also the well-known villain of the entire Goosebumps series, who is a 
practical effect. He is a dummy. Do not call him a dummy or else he'll get mad. And he is this sort of uh, ventriloquist kind of thing that moves its mouth like how a normal puppet would move its mouth. It also has this sort of tone about it that makes it appropriate for everyone as well. I would describe it like this. Alonzo Duraldi of The Rap and the What The Flick channel here on YouTube said that this movie is like Gremlins meets Jumanji. And since I really enjoy both of those movies, that is a perfect way to describe this film. Even horror movie fans themselves will get a kick out of this movie to an extent. Even though it's not scary per se, there are certain elements about this movie that will be appealing to them as well. In fact, another certain horror novelist that is pretty famous for his work, Stephen King, is blatantly referenced throughout this movie. But one big thing that this movie did really well and caught me off guard was how much heart it had. Towards the end of the movie, I would say two-thirds of the way through, there is a twist that I did not see coming that really fit well with this movie. It did not feel dropped, it did not feel implemented at the last minute, no. It felt right, and I will dare not spoil it in case you're gonna see this movie. The only real issue I have with this movie, and it's a big one if you can consider it that, is that towards the end of the movie, once the big grand finale hits, just a huge slew of monsters are shoved in at the last minute and don't really that get that much time to shine. It did bother me as it felt a little bloated and pretty full on its end. It was noticeable, but not a deal breaker by any means. As for the hour and 40 minutes that you'll be spending with this movie, anyone, no matter how old you are, will definitely have a very enjoyable time. My final thoughts on this movie are that it's visually creative, has horror elements sprinkled around it that's appropriate for kids, but has humor to bring it right home. The acting all around from the cast is very likable. It has a surprising amount of heart and touching nature with it. And it's fun for everyone, whether you are young or old, or even unfamiliar with the Goosebumps franchise. These movies really never come out anymore that have this nostalgic and just fresh nature that is appropriate for younger generations. And it really is just refreshing to see a movie like this that is fun for all and just a blast to see on its own. Again, I took my mom to see this with me and she had consistent smiles on her face throughout, as did I. I definitely recommend this movie. It is definitely very fitting for the Halloween spirit that is looming around right now and is very bright. And I could see myself watching this movie every year around Halloween because it is that enjoyable. My final verdict for Goosebumps is four out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Goosebumps, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.